Luminosity masking is something that can be really complicated depending on your comfort level. Now, this is something that we use to make selections, whether it's highlights, shadows, midtones, or something in between. What I like about this is you can use it for color grading, making selections, adding textures, creative effects. There's so much you can do with it. But I feel like a lot of people just don't know about it because it's not presented in a concise fashion that a lot of people can get behind. This is why Infinite Luma was something that I was really passionate about because I wanted the power of luminosity masking to be really simple and easy to use. Obviously, this doesn't have all the features in the world, but it has most of what we use luminosity masking for in a really clean and easy to use interface. So let's get started and show you exactly how it works. So here we have the functionality and panel. It looks pretty easy and simple, just like our infinite tools typically are. However, there's so much you can do with it. So for example, you'll notice here that we have a really easy to use sliders that has range and smoothness. So the way it works is pretty simple. I'm going to drag this highlight slider to the left. And what you'll notice is that with the orange selected, this is the exact range that's going to be selected if we choose to apply it. Now, I'll come over here in my flyout tab really quick and make sure legacy mode's not selected. I'll come back to that to in a second. But you'll notice here that the edges themselves between the highlights and the midtones are a little bit sharp. So what I'll do is increase the smoothness, and you'll see the transitions a little bit smoother. And that's kind of exactly what I'm looking for if I'm going to be selecting the highlights. Now, once that's done, we have three different output options here. One's going to be selection, which we'll start with first. Once I click on create, you'll notice that it comes up with the marching ants. And that's pretty much useful, especially if you want to combine it with, say, a group or adjustment layer. And I can do that by going here and clicking on curves. And you'll see the actual adjustment layer automatically apply directly to it, which is really, really nice. Another great tip that I think is very useful is in case you already have, say, a curves layer or any layer or mask or even a group, you can first do that then go ahead and make your selection. And before you hit create, what you're going to do actually is make sure that the layer or group is selected. And then you're going to right click. And so what right click does is it replaces the mask that the layer is attached to, or if it doesn't have a mask, it automatically applies it. The same thing goes for a group. So if I do that, and if I say make a random adjustment selection layer here like this, and then right click on create, it's going to add the mask to the folder itself. So that's very, very handy to know, no matter what is selected. And that's really, really nice. The next thing that um, is available is going to be group. So if I click on group and say I want to select a midtone, because we haven't talked about that yet. Well, a midtone is actually really easy to select. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that these two areas kind of overlap. As you can see here, the range works because if I go ahead and say overlap like this, it actually goes ahead and selects anything in the middle between the two. So now we can select, say, a midtone. I'm going to go ahead and increase my smoothness like this, and then say create. Now, what happens is because this folder option selected, it's going to add a group with the mask with the midtones. That's a good part about this. Everything is labeled really nicely, so you know exactly what you're getting, even though you can't really see the thumbnail. And if you want to see the thumbnail even larger, you want to right click like this and then say medium thumbnails or large thumbnails. And in this instance, you can get a better idea of what's happening. But this is good because in case you don't want to do that, the names themselves give them away really nicely. So I'll go ahead and go ahead and say uh, small thumbnails for now. And the last option here is going to be channels. Now, channels are really, really handy, especially if you want to save these masks and say that you are trying to get a really nice selection like this, and perhaps you want to save it for later. I'm going to go and click on channels and click on create. And now nothing really happened in the layer stack, but on the left hand side where the channels are, you'll notice that there's a channel that says midtones and there's one that says shadows as well. So here it's going to be the shadows, which we just created. And this one over here is because we actually have this mask selected. If I go ahead and click on something else, it's going to update that mask. So don't worry about this one for now. This is really temporary and happens every time you click on a mask. But here, this is the one that was permanent, the one we, that we actually created and the one that stays there because we have channels selected. And here I'll show you once again. I'm going to do that. Click on channels as an output option and then hit create. And there you go. It labels them from highlights and shadows, etc. Let's say that you're done working on an image and you want to clean up those masks. Well, simply put on our flyout menu over here, we have, of course, legacy mode, 
which I'll explain in a minute, as well as remove channels. Now this is good because you don't always want to keep all of them because once you're done with the actual document and you save it and you have tons of channels, it will weigh down your PSD or TIFF file and just increase the size of it unnecessarily. So that's something to consider and keep in mind. If you also want to reset any of the functions here, the ranges, you can click on the range function and it resets any of these parameters for easy default access. Now, finally, what is the legacy mode? Well, so far, what you've noticed is as I adjust these sliders here, the sliders themselves actually change as I'm adjusting them. So what happens is it gives me a live preview, but that can slow it down sometimes. What I'll go ahead and do is click on this and click on legacy mode. And now as I adjust it, nothing happens until I let go and then it sets the value. So that's just another way to work in case you decide to really do something fast and you don't want to really slow it down. And it does actually work a little bit faster too. Now, luminosity masking is really great because you can actually combine some of these functions with, say, color grading. Now, let's say that I actually want to color grade um, just my highlights. So I'm going to do this, except I want to apply it to some color grading. I might actually do infinite color or infinite looks. So what I'll go ahead and do is say, use the light over here like this. But if I want to apply the luminosity masses folder, I'm just going to right click on create. And then suddenly it applies luminosity mask to the folder itself. And now as I turn this on and off, it's only working within those highlights. So you can see here, if I hold option and click on the mask, you'll see the highlights being selected. And now if I go ahead and randomize these different color results, you can get different results specifically in whatever mask that you've applied. And you can do the same thing for your shadows, highlights, etc. And of course, you can do it manually too for any manual adjustment layers you want to make. And this just goes on and on forever. You can even add textures to your shadows if you want to by using infinite texture and add clouds to your highlights, for example, and all kinds of things. So if you're interested in seeing that, I highly, highly recommend checking out our academy on this page where you can see more videos of how I use this creatively to create looks and go advance into some of these options.